Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask BYS. So we've got a fellow boater um, and this boater is in Lake Ontario, uh, the New York side, big lake. So Canada is on one side, the United States is on the other. And uh, this question uh, asks the following, and the boat owner, by the way, has a Hunter Vision 32. Lovely boat, I've been on board. Not specifically that one, but I've been on that boat. Uh, and he asks the following question. He says, Jeff, you, I've heard you say on one of your videos to fuse all circuits except the starter. Just wondering why. I'm looking at various diagrams and I don't see the starter shown. Bob, good question. Why indeed? Um, now, so I wasn't in the room when ABYC decided to do their standards, but I also always ask why, right? I'm curious. I'm like, why is that? Because if you know the why, then you'll probably do the right what, right? So starters, the challenge with starters is many. So one of them is the fact that a starter can actually, depending on the starting voltage of the battery, you can have a huge amount of inrush current, especially when the battery voltage is low. You're going to have a crazy mon crazy amount of inrush current that's going to go from the battery to the starter. And it's hard to predict how much current that's going to be. And it's it could, and this is the fear, trip a fuse when realistically there's no short. It's not the starter has failed, but it's simply because you started the engine with a low battery and that meant that when you were starting the engine, there was so much current being drawn from the battery that it would trip the fuse. Now, tripping a fuse, a 600 or 300 amp fuse on a starter circuit isn't necessarily an easy thing to replace. It doesn't take 10 seconds. You've got to take tools out. You've got to find it. Do you have a replacement fuse? Where's the replacement fuse? And while all of that is happening, your car or boat is not in a parking lot waiting for you to solve this. You might just be drifting. You might have stopped your engine, started over again, and now you can't start, and now your boat is not staying put. You can't anchor, and you're just being blown wherever the wind or the currents are taking you. So I think that when ABYC was doing the code, they're thinking, listen, as much as we want to protect the starter from an ex accidental short, we also don't want to cause more problem by having nuisance tripping of these fuses, because sometimes when you want to start your engine on a boat, you got to start it now. I joke around and I tell this to anybody who's boated enough. I say, boating is 99 days of bliss and just wait for it, one day of sheer terror. And the 99 days of bliss are even sweeter and better because of that day of terror. And if you haven't had one, just wait, it will happen. And sometimes your boat has to go now. And the way to do that is to not have a fuse on the starter circuit. Now, if you're not gonna fuse a starter circuit, now you have to make take extra precautions. That protective boot that is on your starter post, on the starter, is often removed. You've gotta make sure that you've got a good starter post. You've gotta make sure that the cables are properly routed and tied down so they will never chafe and accidentally short. So you take extra precautions because you know that from the starter battery to the switch to the starter solenoid is an unprotected circuit. So that's the reason why you go to extra length to make sure that circuit is safe and will never accidentally short. And then that's why you don't put a, a fuse on a starter circuit in case it accidentally trips when it shouldn't have and there hair go afterwards, you can't start your engine. So hopefully that clarifies the question of why you should not fuse your starter circuit on your boat. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.